guys it's Ben from Parker Baits and welcome back to another fishing video today you join me down the famous linear complex and I can't wait we're down for a Parker Baits social I'm absolutely buzzing the box commons due out <laughs> it's exciting stuff now very quickly before I am going to be using our new shelf life product and on that note it's now available at the Parker Baits store we're only going to be doing this in five kg bundles and there's going to be limited drops of it being that we're only a small family run business to make sure we keep that consistency and keep up the demand for our freezer bait we're going to be doing this in drops that's the only feasible way of us doing it so there it is head over to the parker bait store grab your shelf life get it while it's there because i don't think it's going to hang about so here it is next 48 hours just before i start this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and I just said 48 hours we're actually here for the next five nights I'm absolutely buzzing come on the car come on the Nosopix Wow, to be honest with you guys, you just missed it. So it's all a bit tense here. There's 20 quid on the line. I'm frantically making a zig and uh, Rob's just snapped off. So a good round of applause to Rob. Mr. 15 mil himself. And if everybody doesn't know what the 15 mil is, he added an extra 15 mil in every bottle, every single bottle, about a thousand bottles when we were at the big one show. So uh, Rob. Thank you mate, much appreciated. <laughs> So yeah, what I'm doing is now I'm just making a zig as quick as I can. They are showing like dolphins out there. They were this morning. I'm going to go straight in with what I know. It's around 26 wraps. Oh, and hopefully I can nick one quickly. So that's the plan of action. Time to make this zig. Happy blooming days. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got enough bait between us. I think so, mate. But we've got a lot of bait with us because we're here for the duration in the next five nights, like I mentioned earlier. You've got Garrett behind me there. Um, we've got Rob's dad, so we've got Rob just there and lovely Steve behind the camera. So I've, all I've done is, again for anybody who wasn't aware, maybe you're new to fishing and you've not done wraps before. I fish 13 foot rods but whether they be 12, I put the rod on the floor and you always know that it's always at that length. So if you can come back to the same swimming, as long as you put your rod on the floor and you put your poles and you know your face, face, safe in our scenario, say you're fishing 25 wraps, I'm thinking tw I'm fishing 26 wraps this particular session, I know if I can put that pole one end of my rod to the other end of the rod, come up to 26 wraps to exactly the same point, I know I'm fishing on the money, if I get in that pack again, I can make a little note in my phone and know, like I said, I'm fishing 100%. So that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clip straight up to 26 wraps, it's a known spot on this particular peg, so I'll be naive not to. So that's the plan of action now, happy days. The lead's going to go at the end. 26 wraps baby. Like I just mentioned guys, I said 26 wraps, I'd be lying, it's not 26 wraps, it'll be 26 wraps on 12 foot rods, like I just mentioned I've got 13 foot, so I've went in around 23 and a half. And also another thing that I do very very quickly, if you want to come with me, um, I have a score to ground, so I know I can fish to that point, I'll put a little pile of stones down, so I know at night time, if I'm fishing say 24, 25, whatever that is, I say 25 to stones and then I know I can literally fish on the inch every time. I know this is something Rob does um, a lot with his angling. Um, I do it a lot with mine and it works very, very well and you can fish absolutely on the money every single time without fail. Well, I've heard about these pigeons. Yeah, you look at me like that, mate. You've been hitting, oh, you've been hitting people's line and now I see why. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, my new name is Wonky Donkey, and the reason for that is, is because I'm a, 
I've misplaced since last trip when I was with the fresh fishing lads. I've misplaced one of my butt rests. So if you come down here with me, <laughs> Rob's kindly lent me one of his. But normally everything looks uniform and lovely. But now I've got my middle tips like <laughs> it just doesn't look quite right, as you can see down there. But rods are on the dance floor. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, one of the rods, when I put them out, I saw a fish show. A rod limps off to the right of it. I really couldn't ask for much more. Uh, there's definitely fish out there. Hopefully it doesn't take long. The only thing I've done different that I haven't told you on this video, I've done the two wraps that I said, 20, um, 23 and a half. I've actually put one a little bit shorter. Um, only by half a rod length. And, um, and what I've also done as well, I've fished two on black foam and one on, something I've been playing about with recently, and it's actually done me a few bites. It's like an off, bra off black, they're like they're almost like the pellet color, like a brownie color. It's a gardener piece of foam, and I trim it right down. It almost looks like a pellet. And I've whipped that down the back and it's right at the back of it. It looks beautiful. So, yeah, that's the plan of action. Rod's on the dance floor. Bring on the next five nights and bring on the box common. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> right, so just got my third rod out now. All three on zigs for me to start off with. So from what we've heard and spoke to people that we've jumped in behind, zigs have been fishing well at the moment. So I've got my left arm rod, which is basically, I think it's Jay's mate or dad, I'm not too sure, but fishing straight towards his peg. I've got then two on this tree now. So I've got, well, they're showing out there. So I've got two on eight and one on a 10 hoping for a quick bite to be honest but um i'm still gonna find a spot for tonight i am still gonna commit a ro uh, rod to the bottom tonight but for now i am just gonna stick to my zigs because as most people know this time of year zigs they come into their own at this time and they are working very well i mean i did very well last weekend on them and the weekend before i managed a few fish on zigs as well so hopefully fingers crossed we keep that run going Right, wow. Um, I've, as you can see, I've put a few layers on now because it is actually getting cold. It's sort of up and down the temperature. I think I was all um, living off a buzz a minute ago when you sort of get there putting the rods out, pushing the barrow down, you warm up very quickly. But rods are out, um, like I said, 26 wraps and there's a pole directly in front of me, like an electricity pole. And I'm literally fishing on that. And the gentleman was right who got in here before, he was fishing the same. It is like glass over there. You've got an absolute fud. I messed up one of the um, the zigs, had to recast it again, which was the left hand rod. Uh, sorry, the middle rod, the middle rod. And um, it landed just to the left of where I wanted it, but I got a dunk down, pulled it back. She is clean as a whistle, mate. It's just beautiful out there. So if I want to drop down tonight, but being that what I'm seeing over there looks very ziggy. Obviously, again, the background, we had Finley over to my left of me again, been catching him on zigs. So I think it's imperative I use zigs to begin with and then play about and then sort of act upon whatever the fish are doing and sort of work off that be proactive as an angler and try and get some fish on the bank so i'm going to leave it at that rods are out that's the wraps out of fishing in this particular peg and like i said hopefully hopefully we can make it happen now what i've got in here i've got a kilo of og fruit and our 18 mils uh with a lot of water so i'm washing them out but i've also added the scopex flat spot and the fruity flat spot all these juices are going into my zig mix so it's going to make it sloppy, it's going to have all the goodness from that day in my Zig Mix. And that is going to catch me the box. 100%. Hold on. I'm getting a, getting a phone call. Hello? The box? Oh, the box is on our way. Can you hear that, people? Bosh. Got all my Parker baits in here. So we've got the OG Fish Pop-Ups. We've got some more OG Fish Pop-Ups. We've got the yellows, the pineapples, we've got some OG fruit and nut pop-ups and wafters. We've got some OG fish match the hat. We've got some OG fish wafters. And that is that. Come on, the Parker Bates. So what I'm doing now, guys, literally just finding my spots before the bite time hits. Before it gets dark, I'm going to get a load of spawns out, put a load of bait out, two rods on the money and one just off to the right on the zig. 
Yeah, so I've got three rods out. I'll put them on the spot. Basically, around about, I think it's 11 and a half wraps out. Nice solid drop, real clear little space, about nine foot deep. Uh, so I've got two. Uh, my left rod is with the new prototype hard hook bait uh, with a topper. Uh, middle rod is the same, a uh, different colour, uh, so it's a little, little bit like snowman rigs with a D-rig. And my right hand rod I'm using four and a half foot uh, zig. So if anything comes through mid-water, then uh, I hope you go to, to Nick's thing. middle rod mate and this is on the 10 foot zig so I've got two at eight sorry just catch my breath after running to the <laughs> rod <laughs> two on eight but this one's black aligner black foam with a little fake red um, topper on it, red maggot topper I don't want to jinx it but oh, that's like a big carp or oh, a, not cat. a cat and I'm hoping I'm, I'm, a, I'm hoping it's gonna be a cat but only time will tell, but he's heavy, whatever it is. Box common. Ghosty's been out, we just missed nice, that one, mate. didn't we? Wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be nice, mate? If mm -hmm. anybody can do it, Mr. Mr. Rob can, I'm sure, so. And not a pig capture. <laughs> not a pig capture, yeah. Well, we missed the Ghosty by what, 48 hours? 48 hours, mate, you couldn't write it. I mean, we have both been watching that fish mate, for a long a time. Cat. It's a cat that's fish, a catfish. That's a catfish. I can feel it on this one as well. Yeah. We've got it on both. Oh, have you? <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Get back in a little bit. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> That's a cat for sure. Oh, the Nossa cat fish. <laughs> Rob the man who can, he's hooked into one, the middle rod, he's taken out his left, oh, he's brung in the right. Ooh. Catfish? I don't admit, every time it just about comes up, I can't, it's got to be. Fish and jigs. Absolutely beasting me. <laughs> yeah, oh. absolutely the beast in him, so. Garage in the water, we've got Steve over here filming for the Park Brothers YouTube channel. And there he is, the man himself. <laughs> <laughs> and he's out there in the background for There he is. Oh. Oh. Go on, go on, get it in. It's come out, it's come out, it's come out. The hook's come out, the hook's come out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you lucky the hook yes. come out, man. Yeah. It's in him. It was a fish pup. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances in that? Go 40. Big old slug, mate. Look at that. Yes. Look at it. There's a zig. So I should. I'd take it for a carp any day. Push it away. All right. So we've got five pound. Five Bang pound. on five. Yeah, Bang on big five. one. So yeah. what's that then? So what was it? Forty-six minutes. Forty-one. Still a PB. Good man. First fish of the session for me, I mean, it's not the fish I'm looking for or want, but <laughs> fish is a fish. Yeah, mate, you can't grumble with that. Yeah. So 41 on the nose, 41, wasn't it? 41, yeah. 41 on the nose and a little black zig at 10 foot. 10 foot and it beasted me. It really, it mate. Really I haven't did. seen your little reels go like that for a while, mate. No, mate, it's been a long but time. But we both said, didn't we, it could be the big one. Big so you were still playing out. it sensibly, weren't you? And then yeah. it literally pinged at the last minute. I don't know if we got that on footage, but um, yeah, we managed to get it in the net. But fair play, mate. We're off to a flyer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you could say it, <laughs> if yeah. you want to say that. But. My hands are nice and slimy, but... Happy days, mate. Is, well done, well done. Lovely. Ready? Yeah. Ready. He's ready. <laughs> wow. Jeez. I'm nice and wet. <laughs> My right hand rod is helicopter set up. Fish pop up. Dipped in the OG fish and it's at 20, just shy of 23 wraps. The middle rod's a solid bag. Fish wafter topped with pineapple. Float pop, 
pop up on the left hand rod again is 12 and a half wraps it's a stiff inch about a 9 to 10 inch boom again fish waft the top with sweet corn topper dipped in the OG fish so fingers crossed we'll see how we go I'm going to do a bit of spotting in a bit spot over the top of them hopefully bring them in come on, come on the, the nossers come on the carp Right, well, I'm sat in a bivvy now. The rods don't look all that. They're a little bit skew with due to the uh, <laughs> losing the back butt rest, like I mentioned earlier. But I've been putting a bit of bait out on that electricity pole, 26 wraps, 12 foot rods, and they are showing like bloody dolphins over there at the moment on the spot. So I think it's only a matter of time, and um, fingers crossed. Uh, should happen. I mean, not much gone on since the catfish obviously pile this horrendous rain at the moment. Hopefully it blows over. But there's plenty of shows, sort of more to the left, literally in line with where I'm fishing as well. So yeah, all I can do now is sit back. We've got a zig and one on the bottom. Put a bit of bait over it. I physically can't do much more now. So I'll play about with depth, which I will do. Part of that, I'll give it that. Well, I'm absolutely soaked. And I've been working out there. Bless I mean, I've been working. I'm at, like I said, I'm absolutely drenched through. And um, they're showing, they're showing, and they're showing. So I'm like been playing about with dip, uh, zig depths and all sorts. I'm happy where they are now. There's still fish showing out there. Um, there's fish showing to the left, so I've put put a zig on that as well. But not just one or two show. I mean like four, or five shows now. So it was like enough to go. Yeah, I need to do something about that. So sorry I haven't got much footage of me actually in my swim doing what I do, but fish just rolled right off the back of the spot then. <laughs> fish just <laughs> in front of us, halfway across. It's crazy out there to watch, but I'm going to sit back and enjoy my uh, plasma screen, my 1,000-inch uh, TV this evening. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it, so I'm going to sit back now and hopefully next time you see me I've got a fish on the, fish on the bank, but I really can't do too much with this rain, so I don't want to damage all the camera equipment. So yeah, happy days. It's exciting. <laughs> wow, it's finally happened in the right hand rod slowly plodded off, Rob, isn't it? Yeah. It was a very slow take, wasn't very, it? Very, very, very slow take. And I've been watching him and watching him and watching him. And I literally had a fish come up halfway across and it hit my line. I said to you, it hit the line, didn't I? I saw yeah. it breach. Got a single beat. Five minutes on, this has happened. So fingers crossed I can get it in. Seems to be coming in nice at the moment. I don't want to lose it. And that is on a little bit of black foam soaked in the flat spot, absolutely laced in it and pricked to death with a um, baiting needle so it pulls into it. <laughs> Man, couldn't write it, could you? Steve's just gone and I've had a double take now. I've got one in the net down there. This is a 20. Yeah, it's a nice one. The left hand rod streamed off on a different spot. On a zig again. Exactly the same scenario, but it's going right round on me now, so I need to be careful with it. It's a bosh. There it is, first one for me, low 20. What do you reckon, Rob? We haven't weighed it, have we? No. Well, we can't weigh it, we're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, low 20, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really happy with this one. Frantically getting the rods back out. Well, this one, I want to get this one back ASAP, get the rods straight back out of the money. Unfortunately, I lost the other one. Um, it come off on the zig, I'm gutted. Same sort of um, tactics though. But yeah, it's nice to get off the mark. Thank you very much, Mr. Mirror. Happy days. Oh, look at the man who can, and you've got it all set up, mate, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Go to the luxury zig, five days. His best mate's here with him as well. <laughs> what are we having tonight then, mate? We got some mussels. There we go, look at this. The mussels. Let's get one nice. Lovely jubbly, mate, looking forward to it. And hopefully we can get a few tonight, eh? Yeah, it'd be nice. Fingers crossed, fingers yeah. crossed. Lovely jubbly. The rain's just eased off a little bit. This is Garrett's view. Then they're nice. Come on, Carl. Look at that, baby. Starter. <laughs> oh, lovely. Just after a fish as well. <laughs> right there mate, yeah, you can smell that bolognese can't you baby, <laughs> lovely, 
Oh, he's good to me, my mate Garrett. Look at that, bolognese, lovely jubbly. Prepped it at home. It's with fresh pasta as well. Ooh, oh, the pot noodle boy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Look at him, he's knackered. I am, I'm tired. Absolutely knackered. I'm struggling to eat this as well. Yeah. What time have you been up since? Well, I got home. I got home about 12 o'clock last night, got to sleep about 1 and then got up at 5 this morning. <laughs> fair play to you mate, fair drive. play. You do it, don't you? Nothing in that kind of sort Your little so. belly's hanging out, look. <laughs> no, I might not look it, but I'm putting weight on. <laughs> <laughs> might not look it. I am, honestly. I, swear. <laughs> I am putting weight on. No, you ain't getting me dripping this down my face. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner was lovely, but then we're actually on the rods. They look been terrible. Plays all over the show at the moment, but on and off rain, fish still boshing, and I'm still locked on. Come on, the carpies. Bosh. Bosh. <laughs> right hand rod. Not long after redoing it. Very slow take again though, wasn't it? Very slower very, than the last very one. Slow. Slower than the last one, but obviously being zigs again, it's one of them, Rob, isn't it? It's, it, it <laughs> got a really... You do lose a lot of fish yeah. on zigs. Well, I seem to anyway. And I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe it's just me, but. <sighs> oh, man, look at that. It's crazy. Yeah, chunk mate. <coughs> 40 43 pounds, 12 ounce. Over that you've got to be cat. All that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My little butt's twitching, I'm not going to lie. Um, it feels really big, but it could be one of two things. It's either it is a big fish, or my lead's not ejected, I've got weed over the fish's face and it's a 20 pounder, we just made the joke but if I see my zig come up with no lead on this is a, I'm telling you now, this is a very good fish but I reckon my lead's still on and I reckon it's got something over its face but we'll just go with that for now there's an arm shaking, my arms are hurting it's probably one of the best fights I've had in a very long time actually Give me a right old merry dance. <clears throat> Fish over the back there. Bosh. Well, like I said, I thought that lead might still be on, and that's exactly what's happened. I need to sort that out, and I've been talking to Rob, I'm going to trim it down and then um, work off the back of that. But I just want to concentrate to get this one in now. So I'm going to show that. Oh, Rob. <laughs> we, knew it was, um, we knew it was big. But not quite what we thought. I am not touching that. So um, <laughs> <laughs> back to its home. Yeah, no. Off she goes, baby. Thank you very much. Catfish, there's one for. Look at that. One for me and Rob now. How big you give that, mate? Definitely mid twenty thirty pounds. Yeah, you've got to be in it. Monster. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Catfish. But <laughs> shame it wasn't the Mr. Box. <laughs> Right, 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 rain's horrendous. I'm literally stuff soaked here. This is this this is so I'm literally absolutely covered. But I'll turn you back round. It's topped up with a bit of bait, we'll touch on that tomorrow. Really sloppy mix. Just topped up. All the rods are out on the money. I'll put the left hand rod slightly off the spot because I'm fishing three zigs. <sighs> Yeah, I'm glad I got that there. Yeah, fish has showed about two wraps to the left of it there. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Come on. It's either the cat or the box. Check it out. It feels weighty, bud. Does it? Sluggish. Slow? Yeah. Could be a cat there. Look at that. Upper 20 cat. First cat ever. About half an hour, 40 minute fight, absolutely destroyed me. But yeah, let's get her back and let's get the rod out for the box common.
Bucket. Well, it's definitely lights out for me, but not lights out for Jay, because he's just had a catfish over there, and fair play to him. I heard him shout across the lake, and um, I know he was playing that for a long time. So, Jay, mate, when you're watching this, fair play to you, Mush. And come on and noss the pigs, mate, and hopefully that's the start of many this session. And you'll be going over there and seeing him with a big common. <sighs> Right, time to get some sleep. I'm absolutely knackered. The lads are in bed. There's fish boshing out of me, not far out, but um, they're also boshing out further out. So they just literally show that they're boshing all over you, <laughs> literally. So I'm not going to um, move my rods, I'm going to keep them where they are. And just maybe that bottom, rod, bottom bait rod goes off. We shall see. We shall see, mate. It's on, it's been quite busy. Um, we've been up for the last couple of hours, I haven't really got any video. Jordan's having some action over there, you can see it. <coughs> just over to the left, sort of in front of T, if you like, his peg. When T turns up tomorrow to the left, yeah, I just wanted to keep in the loop. Wow, it's been absolutely carnage. I've had one, lost one, Rob's lost one. We've got another low 20 in the net there. I'm not going to get it up, but it's pitch black and we're going to let that one go. But yeah, happy days. Fish number two. And um, two knots of catfish, eh, mate? <laughs> Thank you very much. Time to get this rod back out. Right rod on the spot. Get in. Well, I'm on a mission. I don't know if you can see me. Early hours of the morning, coming up to about half past five. And, um, been out the last three hours. I had two, lost three. Very frustrating when you keep losing them, but um, just reeled in. Heading round to um, Jordan now. So you can see what he's got. He's just literally rang me, said I've just had one. He said, Do you want to come over and get some video? I said, Yeah, I'll go on and come round. So, um, <laughs> I reckon it's a late 20. So, fingers crossed. And uh, see you in a second. Yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Where did that come from, the boy? <laughs> Look at that face. The <laughs> smile. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> early morning thing. Well in, I mate. heard the beep and nothing else. And then I come over and me was just stricken. <laughs> what we're talking about nothing all night nothing and then it goes nothing. Off first light mate Literally absolute just madness over with Geordie then talking about him got had his live take yeah and then come over yeah mine's just gone <laughs> left damn rod so he's not just had a live take over here he's got a <laughs> he's had a carnage morning <laughs> absolute carnage morning so we'll show you that in a second but for now we're going to concentrate on this bad boy and fingers crossed Mr. Roan can get this bad boy in. I can't believe that, mate. That's bloody brilliant. As if. Going on video. <laughs> He's got a catfish. He's got a lovely catfish. Big catfish. <laughs> Not exactly what we wanted, mate, is it? It's got to be another late 20. See you later, kitty. Mate, that is a bite. I'm telling you now, that's a bite. That's exactly on where that fish showed earlier. And that fizzing was. Yeah, I reckon that, mate. I'll tell you now. That is a bite. Wow, well, mate, look at that. Banger. Absolute banger. It's uh, been a bit of an eventful morning, mate, isn't it? Mental, mate. <laughs> Mental. Catching them on the bags. Lovely common. This is the first of three. So, yeah, you're in for a bit of a treat. No, four. 
Four. I had, I had one late last night. <laughs> there you go. It's the four. <laughs> Happy days, boy. Come on. Happy days. Lovely. <laughs> He's got a furry. <laughs> Smash. Lovely Talk one. Talk about furries. <laughs> Absolute banger, mate. It's a lovely color of it, bro. brownie colour in it. We've just bar of gold. <laughs> it really is. And we both sat there and sort of said, oh, late 20, late 20. And it knocked round on the scales at 33 on the nose. So let me just get you up here. Look at that. Oh, what a beauty, mate. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, banger. well in, mate. And you've still got enough one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Animal, <mate>. Come on. <laughs> Just so casually. 32 4. A brace of 30s. We got another 30. <laughs> we got another 30. Yes. <laughs> Get in, mate. mate nah, in, jokes bro. aside, I'm absolutely buzzing for you, mate. That Come on. Is a monster. Warrior, bro. Look at this <laughs> side, man. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, mate. It's got all cuts on that side, like this side. It's, it's got like little down, bits yeah? on it, yeah. This side. Little bits. Look at this side, then. Look. All the lines down yeah, there. Yeah, little bits down the back of it. Yeah. Mental, bro. Right, well done, though, mate. And uh, Come fair on. play. Happy days. <clears throat> Off your skedaddle. Well then mate, smashed it. Come on. Yes. Wow, fair play to them two, but I can't lie, I am lagging hard now. I think I'm gonna drop some rods on the bottom. Um, I'm playing about them zigs, it's gone a bit quiet, obviously the prize a couple of hours prior um, to that light coming in this morning, terrible video, and you can tell I'm half asleep. And um, Try on the bottom, give that a few hours. If I don't have nothing come midday, I can always put zigs back out. So I think that's what I'm going to do get back, get the rods back out. But lads, well done. <laughs> there he is, Mr. South hey, Coast Angler. Oh, there yeah. he is, the man himself. Turned up at the right time. You have, look Rob's at this. Down, cool, mate, you're good, ain't you? Good. Oh. That was, oh. <laughs> Ten minutes out. Fair play to you, Robbie, mate. Let's get this one in. It's been a while since we've had one over this side, so I'm going to let him concentrate and uh, <laughs> happy days. You're you know. 20. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you want. There's quite a bit of evenness in there because you've. Uh... <laughs> 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 Well done, mate. So what, we, what did we give it? Uh, 18 pounds, maybe 19. It's got to be in nice. it, give or take. Yeah. On the zigs again? Yes, 10 foot this one. We uh, seen a couple of fish showing in shorter than last night. Um, so I was realistically fishing over the top of the fish last night, but <laughs> brought it in this morning and within, would you say, 10 minutes even, mate? No, it's good that. angling, mate. Very good angling. You saw him, you acted upon it and made it happen straight away. So Rob doing it again. That's two a piece now, mate, isn't it? Try my best. Two a piece, <laughs> and um, I'm sure you're going to bang a few more. Yeah. And it'd be lovely to get a thought in the mix, but um, matter of time. Matter of time. Matter you of know, time. mate. You know. Fair play to you, mate, and good angling. <sighs> it's not a good sight. He's really in because he's just lost one. Slow, lovely, slow, ploddy take. It's all right, mate. Get it back out. Yeah. Right. So update time and. Uh, I am very, very tired. Still haven't had no sleep. Been chasing fish all round this afternoon, sort of close in, playing about a zig depth, zig, zig colours, uh, bags, I think I mentioned earlier. But Jay's into one the other side and um, hopefully he lands it and I can go around and uh, see what's going on. I think we're going to go pop up to the shop. I need to top up on some bits. Um, 
nothing major. Um, I'm going to pop over with Rod, reel the rods in, have a bit of a social, then come back and then sort of yeah, get the rods out for this evening. I think that's the plan of action anyway. Really is nice to get out. Um, as much as nice to have rods in at the, the water 24-7, it's also nice to go around and see people you haven't seen for months. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But that is the update for now. Hopefully, just hopefully, we see this fish. Jay, mate, well done. Um, if you land this puppy, because I'm watching you now. <laughs> Fingers crossed, baby. First carp for me. 17 and a half pound. Lovely golden common. Look at that. We'll get her up quickly. Going to get some footage of her in the water. But yeah, lovely fish. Caught on a zig. Gosh! <laughs> I told you I'd let you have a little look at her in the water. She's got a little weird eye here. But yeah, what a common, mate. Absolutely buzzing with that. 17 and a half pounds. Absolutely chuffed. Right, let's get her back. Come on, the Parker Bates. See you later, Moosh. Get in there! Well done, mate. How cool is that? So Rod's in my end and Rob's end and we're going to head round and see what's going on the other side. I need to pop to the shop as well. That is a plan of action. Happy women days. Solid bag. Straight on the spot, Himalayan rock salt in the top, a few other little goodies, some chops, happy blooming days. Right, well that didn't exactly go to plan, I had to remake a PVA bag twice, as it got twisted and all frayed up, so I just had to make a brand new one. The rods are finally out on the money, topped up with a couple of spoms, and hopefully that does the do. Tea's due very, very soon. I think we're gonna have some food soon. Rob's behind the camera, and yeah, so there it is. That's the update for now. I'm only sort of giving you updates with no update, you know. So, so I'm just gonna try and keep in the loop with the exciting bits, and hopefully we get some fish before it gets dark. I'm not asking for much, just a box. Um, <laughs> but no, I'll leave it at that, guys, and fingers crossed. So there it is. Rob's there. Garrett's over there doing some food. I'm going to get involved in a second. The wind's trickling in across the lake. As opposed to it sort of been going that way into the corner the whole time we've been here. It's changed, so it's going to be interesting to see what that does to the fish. It's definitely going to push them. Carriage set up that, look at that, mega. Come on a cut. So dinner time. Henry. Henry. I'm watching you, my mate. You might have some snacks after. <laughs> You've got steak tonight. Corn on the cob with butter. With a view. With the main man. Love you, Jumpy. What we need now is a box. Come on. Hey, look who's joined the party. There he is. How's it going, mate? How are you, mate? Yeah, good. Yeah, mate, good. Long day, good. At, long day at work? Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. So you've Com just driven all the way from our way, haven't you, mate, to, to, to come here. What's the time now? Six ish? Yeah, that's it, mate. Just trying to get eager to get the rods out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bite time. Bite time. He's got his barrow there in the background. Mr. Fatty's here. I'm sure he'll make it happen tonight. <laughs> Fingers crossed, mate. That's it, mate. Hopefully so. <laughs> Come on, the knot of pigs. <laughs> A man at work.
Right, well, it's pitch black out here now, and <laughs> Rob's just out here. We're looking out, and it's going off the other side. So we think it's a PB, is that a 30? It's a big one. <laughs> then we've managed to get hold of South Coast Angler, that's Aaron. And <laughs> he's managed to PB. He's like, it's definitely a PB. He's just got off the phone and rolled. I'm absolutely buzzing for you, mate. And I'll let this footage unfold now. Um, I haven't told him yet, but hopefully I can nick some of his footage to show you guys, because, yeah, I'm just, mate, I'm absolutely buzzing. We were talking earlier, he come over, had a chat, he was like, I really do hope I get one. It didn't happen on the last social, the last Parker Bait social at uh, Topper Manor. But it's definitely happened now, so, mate, fair play to you. <laughs> what was it, Rob? Ten and a half foot zig? Ten and a half foot zig. He was originally fishing an eight foot zig. And he wasn't having much luck, so he upped it to ten and a half. And I don't know how long it's been out, but he's got one. So, that's all so there you go. I don't know if you got that, but... <laughs> Aaron, mate, smashed it. Fair play. Sorry about that. Fair play. Whoa. Here we go then, boys. We got... We had to wait a while for it, but... We have got first fish in the net. We've got Jordan on the phone. Right then. <laughs> He's struggling to pick it up. Oh. What are you saying? Where's the pounds? Inside the yellow ones. 28 and a half. Hey! <laughs> what a bastard. 28, eight. 28, 28, oh, that's 20, yeah, it's 28 and a half. Bang on. 28, nice. eight. 28, eight. Well okay, done. Nice. Absolutely well, brilliant. It's a unit, boys. It's a got unit. Nice big orange, got a nice big orange spot on it, man. It's banging. Get, oh. get plenty of good pictures. No dramas. Say, say well done to Aaron. <laughs> yeah, man. He's well done, Aaron. <laughs> Whee! Come on, and not a pigs. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. 288, eight. beautiful yellow spot on it. <laughs> Come on. Here we are. There she is. 288, eight. thank you very much. <laughs> Go on, son. Oh. Mate, look at the size of it. She's gone. <laughs> yes, boy, let's get it. South Coast Angler, St John's, yeah. Parker Bates, come on! Get that bucket ready, boy! <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. Get in there. Yeah, come on, you give me a go. countdown and yeah. go on two, right? Yeah, I know how it works. All right then, PB, here's what it is, St John's, Parker Bates Social. Yeah! 2023. <laughs> come on! <laughs> oh, I literally got into bed and, uh, bald, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Rod screamed off, didn't it, mate? Yes, taking out my other rods. But... <laughs> taking out everything. But he's got a bit of a weapon in the net. Look at that. <laughs> oh, mate. Lovely, boy, jubbly, boy. And business. Hey, <laughs> so there he is, the main man at Parker Bates at the moment. Look at that. Proper grey thing, mate. So what was it? Uh, 26 10. <laughs> yeah. You sound really tired. I am, mate. It's been a long day. It's been Absolutely long day. knackered, mate. The paddle on the back of it give you a right merry dance on the yeah. zigs again. Yeah, 10 foot, mate. Black foam, red aligner this time, but just soaked in the monster crab flat spot. And yeah, Happy. 10 foot. I was just about to go to bed with me, all of us, and then Literally. caught us off guard. Literally. Yeah. Look at that, mate. What a banger. Well in, mate. Hopefully the first of many this evening. Hopefully, yes. I Good man. Say no. Look at that, mate. That looks absolutely mega. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Well in. Well, after quite a slow night, and I'm not going to lie, I lost one at night time on a zig left hand rod. Everybody was so down, I think, but uh, carrots in. There he is. What a lovely morning, mate. <laughs> what does that mean, mate? Uh, I think I've got a little puddy cat on. <laughs> <laughs> there 
what a beautiful, beautiful morning it is. Look at that, mate. Look at that. Then you realise you got the box on. And then you realise you got the box on them, eh? <laughs> nice to see the clutch go though, mate, isn't it? It's pretty much on full. <laughs> Bloody good looking catfish that is. Look at that boy. <laughs> Definitely fish out there. I've seen fish there. I've seen another fish show there. They're in this middle bit now, boy. <laughs> and it's fizzing out there. It's Bosh. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely dark one, mate. Beautiful it is on camera. Lovely apple slices at the back. How did you catch it? Uh, sorry, bag with uh, OG. Fish wafter, not letting me down again. Look at that hump on the back of it, pop a long old thing. Mate, buzzing for you, first one for you, it's been hard going, but you're in a peg that if the fish ain't there, you ain't going to catch them, but they're definitely there now, and hopefully you can start having a few. Yeah. Well in, mate. Yes, thank you. Henry, Henry, did you like that? You are more concentrating on your dad, didn't you? Did you like that? You're going to say goodbye to it now? Hey, can you say goodbye to it now? We're going to say goodbye to it now. Oh. If you can, try and let it swim off into your lines that way. Am I in your way then? Yeah. No. We're all good, mate. Garrett's in the water there, look with it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. It's a video for Instagram. Get up. Well in, mate. There you go. Even Henry said, Well done, his dog. Well done, sir. <laughs> Little dark horse, mate. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Just nipped to the toilet, come back. <laughs> he goes, I got one. I got that was quick, mate. It's not big, but I mean, it's yeah, a lovely like that any day, mate. Yeah, so. mate, lovely dark one. St John's fish all over that, mate, and that yeah, is what mate. it's all about. Apologies about the net in the background there, but Rob just goes, me, I want to get a quick bit of video, show everyone, and let it go. But mate, well in, lovely linear fish number four. This is fair. Three, four, we're minus the cat. Minus the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just very quickly, Rob, what, you do, what have you done there then, mate? So, one of its scales here are looking quite sore, to be fair. Yeah. Really nice big one. And then, obviously, from where I've had it, the hook in its mouth down there in previous hooks, you see marks. So, yeah. just been putting a bit of carp care on it. Just making it go back better than it came out. Yeah, mate, yeah. It's only right, isn't it, really, yeah. that we look after them. But, yeah, fair play. Right, here we go, mate. That's the one. That's the puppy. Right then, Rob, mate. Bosh. Bosh. <laughs> so no, last, no real updates, but I have redone my left arm rod. The sun is coming through and there's fizzing. Just started on the baited spot and it's still going out there now. Literally in line. Sorry, I'm putting it there completely wrong. <laughs> actually got an electricity cable. Hopefully they found that bait, I tell you. Because if they do, they're going to be there a while because there's plenty of it there. Any money? Middle rod, I reckon. Come on. Come on, fish. Well, that is the rods set and primed. And it's time to get a couple of hours sleep. <laughs> Well, I'm alive now, I've had a couple of hours sleep and the fish are out there in their numbers right on top, so straight away 
acted upon it. Zigs are out in full force at the moment, playing about with depths. They've all gone on black foam, just couldn't buy a bite anything else but black at the moment, to be honest with you. Um, and they're on me. <laughs> they're literally on me, these fish. So I think it's going to be easy because this was the same scenario yesterday, but I'm going to just play about with different bits and bobs what I can and, like I said, see if I can make it happen. I've got some um, breakfast, I think we're going to have soon, some bacon and some eggs, maybe, and some sandwiches. Absolutely been starving. Um, but yeah, I don't think much more has been out the other side, but there is still two more nights, so fingers crossed. I'm going to sit back now, watch this water for a little bit longer before we start breakfast and enjoy <laughs> that. Right, well, I'm going to ask Garrod because um, I didn't get any video because I'm an idiot of the um, breakfast. Was breakfast all right, mate? It was amazing. There, there you go. My egg is bloody big right now. I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had, we, had, we had a wrap. As you know, everybody takes the mick out of me in the comments down below about my food. But I just made Rob and I made Garrod a wrap bacon, smash egg and bacon roll. Uh, wrap, sorry. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get any video, but we got a lovely view, an absolutely beautiful view in front of us today. And is it going to happen? Zigs are out. No more further action. Last clip was probably about an hour ago. But it really is nice to be in the sun, mate, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Absolutely nice really lovely. <laughs> right, guys, wow. It's a lovely day. No further action, really, on the rod fronts. But it is nice to see Steve and his missus and the little one as well. Absolutely beautiful behind the little girl. Beautiful. They're heading round now. Steve's going to grab the camera and I think what he's going to do is just see what's happening on the other side. So you might catch some fish, you might not, but you might touch base with a few people over there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now and I'll touch base when Steve's back later. But for now, <laughs> here with these guys. <laughs> Lovely. All right, Jay. You all right, you all right Aaron? <laughs> so Ben sent the camera around this side of the lake and we're going to talk to you a little bit about how things are happening over this side of the lake. So we've got pegs one, two, I'm in three, you're in four. Yeah. And Andy's in five? Yep. Andy's in five. So, Jay, what's, what's your take on what's happened so far? Talk us through your catches and uh, what sort of approach you're taking. So, um, in the first night, I went three zigs, I think. Um, I had one on, no, I had one on the bottom, two on the zigs. Uh, sort of had nothing on the bottom, but that night I had a few catfish. So, uh, into the second night, a um, few more cats. Uh, but, yeah, the fish are literally... You might even be able to see it as we're talking now. It's crazy. They're everywhere, man. They're not so even 10 wraps out. They're just a carp are cruising around the surface, not even 10 wraps out. We've tried zigs a foot under depth. We've tried two foot under depth. We've tried over depth. I don't think they're feeding. They're just basking in the sun. But having said that, I've caught two. I've caught the yeah. two. Uh, I've caught a 43 and a half cat and a 28 and a half carp, which I've got a bucket for, <laughs> which I'm not happy about, right? <laughs> Because Jay's been telling me, oh, he doesn't get it. he doesn't get a bucket because he's caught a PB cat. Yeah, but it's my first ever catfish, do you know? If you have a first carp, you ain't going to get a bucket for your first ever carp, are you? Oh, I don't know, mate. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so yesterday I arrived at, I, was, I arrived later, a day later. But I arrived at 12, got the rods out, and I think I was fishing for about eight hours, and I was fishing uh, eight and a half foot zigs. Yeah. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I had a solid bag on the other one, nothing. And then in the evening yesterday, they were boshing, weren't they? Everywhere. Out and, and it was clear, it looked like they were basically what they were doing was they were eating. There's a lot of little like flies and stuff and bugs falling in the water. And I think the carp are coming up and eating those bugs. So, of course, black bit of foam imitates a, a, a bug. And we've chucked it out and I've gone from eight and a half foot to a 10 foot, to a 10 foot zig. And that's when I caught the 28A carp, beautiful carp, a new PB. I got soaked and do you know what? I'm so happy that I did because I smashed it out of the park ran over here he's into that catfish mate and i was like you left your receiver in my bivy mate crazy and that catfish went off like a steam train it didn't go left it didn't go right it went straight out in front and ben's spot is actually straight out in front of me and i just thought it, it was three o'clock in the morning wasn't it yeah. and i just thought i'm gonna have to give ben a call and say ben i'm gonna wipe out your rods but i don't know how i managed to keep it keep it away from his rods away from his spot and about after half an hour of playing this cat what a load of power that was. Mate, it was. That was massive. Absolutely huge. Wouldn't even fit in the sling um, <laughs> in the unhooking mat, but yeah, brilliant, excellent stuff. So, what's your approach for the rest of the trip? Um, so, Garrod and uh, Jordan been catching on solid bags on the bottom. So, uh, I think I'm going to have one on a solid bag, two on the zigs, because all I've had in my swim is zig fishing, all been on zigs. So, I would be silly not to 
yeah. you continue with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, and just as a, a quick side note on that as well, I'm going to fish zigs. I've got both on zigs at the moment. I'm going to keep them on until the sort of, I don't know, sort of late evening, about 10 o'clock, I'm going to go on to solid bags because most of the solid bags have been doing the doing the do, if you like, is what Ben says, yeah. um, <laughs> early hours of the morning. So that's the plan is to keep the zigs on through tonight to about 10 o'clock, whack a couple of solid bags out and see if we can nick one from there. Bosh! So whilst, whilst Steve's over there with the other camera, I'm there with this camera and Garrett's on one. Henry! Okay. Henry! Look at this, a whole selection going on. Oh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Come on, Rod. Right, we're getting my rods out of here. I'm going to go out of a solid bag. So in the middle there is chops. Got some magic dust in there. A few other little goodies. Some sauce. Just a little bit of sauce. You can see at the top, it's the fruit and nut sauce. And now it's back on stock on the website as well because we did go for a stint. Well, we've run out, but now it's finally back in stock. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to put out tonight. Um, just to the right of the marker, if I can. And that will be is kind of action. Grieve down here, look. Beautiful. <laughs> I can see Steve over there. And Mr. South Coast Angler has got another fish on. I don't know whether he's been eat, whether he's been eating what what he's had for breakfast. I don't know, but he's turned up here at Linear and he's absolutely having it off. He had a PB last night, which we're all over the moon for, and I think everybody PB cat as well. I think everybody around the lakes heard him. And, f <laughs> and fair play to him, fair play to him, mate. And like I said, absolutely buzzing for you. You got Steve over there now. His missus, little one, Jay, Jordan. Ian, yeah, what a lovely, lovely scenario when up here. Sort of really, really, really fortunate to be up here. Proper social, good times, good laughs. And is he gonna get? You could imagine him getting the box common in there, you know, couldn't you? He's gonna. Aaron, mate, fair play. And I'll let the other camera footage. That I'm sure Steve's getting over there unfold right now. Buzzing, mate. I can't believe I caught my PB carp, my PB cat, and now I'm into another fish. Zig. All on the zigs, mate, and I've never used them before. <laughs> I think you're going to have to change up to zigs more often then, aren't you? South Coast zig. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, I love that. Well, let's get this one in. Ooh, Willie the Black Saver. <laughs> It's definitely not catty. It's staying at high, mate. Oh, that's a nice fish, mate. Well done, mate. Happy days. Well, that's not the biggest one, but we'll take it. It's another fish, and it's a carp. Come on, the Parker Bates. <laughs> this beautiful specimen right here. Size and a half. Quite is a nice fish, isn't it? I'm going 18 and a half to 19. 17. On the nose. 17 on the nose? Okay, there we go then. What did we say it was? 17? Yeah, on the nose. 17 on the nose. Beautiful gold looking common. Yeah, Second carp of the mirror. session. Mirror. Sorry, mirror. Second one in the session. Look at the colours on it. Beautiful sunset coming down as well. I'll take that all day long, thank you very much. Let's get her away. Bye bye. Come on the Parker Bates. So here we go then. Just got that 17 pound. You've come over it. Just got that 17 pound in. And Jordan was going to me, get the rods back out. Don't send the photos to your Facebook group or your WhatsApp group, get your rod back out. So I whipped it back out, 18 wraps again, same zig. And how long was it, Jay, half hour? Not that. Not even that. 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Here she goes again. Happy days. And here we go then. Carp number three, 23 pound, low double. Low, mid, low, 20. low 20. <laughs> I'm good at all this carp stuff, aren't I? <laughs>
Thank you very much. Bye. See you later. Yes. Woohoo. Bye. <laughs> She's not camera shy, is she? She's not. We say hello. Dooby dooby, dooby dooby dooby. Worst dinner time here at Dinia. And Garrett has done it again. Oh, any just, mate. <laughs> right, any just. A little bit different at your aqua, mate. Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. <laughs> I am sick to death. Bloody catfish. Tia's has just been playing something for an hour. I know he's not a massive fan of them. So, and that this is going to become an hour. He's just unhooked it. But if you want to see the state of this thing, mate, it's absolutely bloody massive. What are we saying then, lads? How big? It'll be 70 plus, I think. Big old tadpole. <laughs> It took about how many times to, to try and net it, T? 53 or something. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable, isn't it? Let me put a the size of the bloody great big thing. The peck on it's the size of my head. <laughs> I guess you're letting it go then, are you? Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting a photo of that, mate. <laughs> not, get, not a fancy photo of that one. No, I'll let him go peacefully. Yeah, that's definitely 110%. That's 70 plus, mate. That is a big, big... Uh, Big catfish. Look at the bloody size of the thing, mate. Jesus oh. Christ. Oh. <laughs> Don't go near my rods, mate. You've already taken them out and they ain't going back out in the morning now. So I'm back. It's four o'clock from T's Peg after that monster he's just had. It's just taken out everything. I mean, not just taking it out of money to get back everything, but. Look, this is my line. This is what I hate catfish, mate. It's nothing. I'm just. <sighs> like I said, one rod lies. I'm going back to bed, mate. I can't. I'm just going to get upset with it otherwise. I'm frustrated. But that has literally taken out everything. Middle That middle rod with that PV bag was just. Physically couldn't have been happy with them rods. But on T's defence, there's nothing you can do with them things. He's just been playing that for about 50 minutes. In an hour, what would you do? Just hold on. You can't do anything. So. <sighs> Leave that, get back. <clears throat> you take care, mate. Yeah, you take care. Garrett's Cheers, off. Yeah. See you later. Take Bye -bye, care, mate. Right, wow. Well, look at this new jumper. You've got Jack there in the background, someone you may have seen on the channel before. Um, good friend of mine, a good friend of my brother's. Garrett's now gone. This is his peg. It's now. He's gone home to see his missus, see his loved ones, and uh, that's the plan of action for him. But to be honest, there's no real updates. I don't want to give you updates and stuff that's not happening because it's really not happening. It's all shut down, the pressure's really high. It's just not great at the moment. Um, so we are playing about with zigs. I've even um, James James King come round, gentleman that fishes up here a lot. He's been fishing B2, and he's been absolutely annihilating it, smashing it to bits. He had 75 fish over there. He's got, he's packing up and going home because he's tired, which is just absolutely blows my mind. So fair play to you when you're watching this, mate, or if you're watching this, fair play to you. And um, yeah, so that is it really. Um, me and T, coffee time now. Rob's doing his bits in his bivvy, keeps playing about with zigs, keeps playing about with colours, again putting these worms on top, that James brung round these worms. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna just keep positive and do and do what we can. Andy though, the other side, as we've just been sat there, has just got an absolute screamer, completely other side of the lake, right in the corner. Um, he is just, yeah, he's just hooked into something. It's gonna be interesting to see. I've just given Jay the other camera, he's on his way round there now. And um, I can see him there running the other side because he was over here having a chat. It's just going to be interesting to see what unfolds over there and what fish he gets on the bank. So, yeah, happy days. Lovely park of eight social from a social point of view, but the fish at the moment, it's amazing how it can just go ting and tong and switch off because that's exactly what it's done. So, yeah, stay, like I said, staying positive, enjoying this lovely day. Go on, boy. Go on, and. 
definitely a cat, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon it's a cat, bro. It's cool, then. Go on, boy. Right, I'll get back to this vlog when she's in the net. If. No. I've beaten a PB, bro. Get it up, get it up. I've beaten a PB. Yeah! Yes! I've beaten the PB by a mile, bro. Here it is, then, guys. Ain't that big. 22. 8? No, 22. 22. Flapper rapper. 22. 4. Yeah? Oh. Say two four. What I am? I'm not sir. It's a car. It's a car. Yeah, it doesn't matter, mate. It's still a big fish. And there she is. Look at that. Well done, Andy. Happy days, mate. No sir. Mind stuff. your receiver. Your receiver away for you. Pop it down there, mate. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Well done, mate. Good skills. No sir. Nice fish, mate. Happy days. Come on the go on. Say it. Say it. Say it. Bosh! Bosh! <laughs> Come on the poker, babe. <laughs> Good old boy. Go on! Bosh! Go on. It's mouth. It's just... There you go, boy. She'll go when she's ready, mate. Look at the scales on it. Massive apples. Beautiful. Give her a little nudge. And she's off. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Get in. Come on, the park. Oh, yes. <laughs> on, You're wrong, then. <laughs> You're wrong. Yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> hey, take a look. Take a look. That is shocking. There's nothing wrong with that, mate. It's not squealing. You ready for this? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, mate. Like Massive shout out to Garage. Half a garage, half of there for Rob's. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. You're gonna learn some stuff from me. Just call me Gordon Ramsay, mate. Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Oh. never. <laughs> so Rob's taken the mick out of me. I put water on here last time. Now I discovered this about two months ago because I saw a TikTok on it. The bloke was kicking bacon, put a little bit of water on there. To, to drain all the, the water that naturally comes out of the bacon when you cook bacon and then add a little bit of water and it makes it go really crispy. They're both looking at me in complete <laughs> disbelief at the moment, <laughs> thinking there's no way that's true. But trust me, you ate the you, Rob, you ate the bacon two days ago and you said that was bloody lovely. Yeah, but you cooked one pack of bacon, not two packs <laughs> in one pan. <laughs> Wow, it's amazing what you can do in a ridge monkey, mate. Or, yeah. sorry, a TF gear. Awesome look at that. Yeah. yeah, it does look like a bit of a tsunami in there at the moment. But just bear with me on this, lads, all right? Bacon just give me stew. a chance. All right? Bacon stew. I'm not sold. Neither am I. Right. Well, can I add some eggs to the mix now? Carefully does it, Ben. Oh, we've got a big bogey coming out this side. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, big old juicy bogey, man. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing about? That's crispy, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, well. I guess I should probably start making the young rolls and stuff. Down to you, mate. I cooked them. And now you've got to deal with the the consequences, I guess. There's the bacon, there's the eggs. And two very <laughs> blank faces. It's alright, it's good, it's good. It looks tasty. Yeah, you can almost taste the sarcasm there, bro. <laughs> nice tea. You've done that before, mate, haven't you? <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, Don't you pop that yolk. I've done it already, mate. Don't I'm you crazy. pop that yolk. Chef T. Alright. That's what you used to do, mate, wasn't it? Ways ago, yeah. Long time ago. Ooh. Yeah, I tell you what, them egg cutting skills. I'll give you a. Yeah, I'll impressive. give you a seven. I give you. I give you a ten. I give you ten. Another one. 
<laughs> right, well, crack on, lads. Enjoy breakfast with a view. Big bash, bosh. <laughs> Fish bash, bosh. Fair play, yeah, So Aaron's in front of me, and he's yeah, on the phone to, to, <laughs> to Jay, and Andy <laughs> over there's had a 35. Jay's just lost the catfish. <laughs> and like I said, How he's got a 35 there right now, so that's amazing. How big was it? 35? That's a big. Look at that. Try and get them. Labosh. You're getting a bucket, mate. That bucket's ready. Move in, boy! Oh, mate. No. We so he didn't, cat didn't see a catfish, but he was playing it for about 25 the zig minutes. Snap, bro. The zig snap. I've sent my rods, so fingers crossed we can make something happen. But yeah, a little update. <laughs> right, so there he is, the man himself. He's smiling away. He's laughing. He's happy because he's absolutely ripped up trees over the duration of the last couple of days, mate. You smashed it. I've had a great session. You can put it quite frankly. Um, first time f fishing. Second time fishing is linear. Yes. But um, first, first time, time on St. John's. John's, mate. Yeah. And... You've done very, very, very well. Yes. It's come off, yeah, innit? Mate. You've seen that. That pulled out line. <laughs> You've seen that. That pulled out that line. Pulled out line. Oh. Sad, Rob. Very yeah. sad. It's not been good, mate. It's been is a it long time afternoon? since I've had a bleep like that. A good 20, well, over 24 hours now. It's and that's been, the one I've just put out. It's been hard. And what's happening completely opposite? What was that? I said, what's happening completely opposite? They're catching loads. They're having it off, aren't they? They're having it off. But look at the wind. That's just battering them. Well, I say battering them, it's trickling in nicely and it's pushing the fish with it. And Andy's Go having it off. And he just had a 35. Fair PB. play to him. Fair play to him. PB and about 10 minutes after that is Rod Well, well in Andy. 21, 21, 12. 21 12. What'd you catch that on? Zig. 35 earlier. The Parker Bates pellet. Up Ripping up. Go on, boy. Yeah, boy. Got a bit wet because it's my PB. So, <laughs> hey ho. Love that. Go on. Get in there, boy. Come on the Parker Bates. Come on, Come on the Parker Bates. Say it. What else you got to say? Bosh. Let's <laughs> get Ziggy with it. Get Ziggy. Get Ziggy with it. Ziggy with it. Bosh. Sat there and I thought I started feeling good. So I left this door undone. Yeah. Left the other door half undone. Slept in my trainers. Went to sleep. Took my tablets. Went to sleep. Next thing. <laughs> the night before I had a drop back but missed it. Now if I get a 40 steps, I'm going to be jealous to f bro. Yeah, it does won't be happy. It won't it be happy won't be one bit, bro. If that had been a 37, it wouldn't have been happy. You got one? Yeah. Love that. Perfect timing to be turned it up, eh? Just in time, mate. <laughs> Ten foot zig again. Ben, that's shooting way left, mate. Is he in? Oh, mate. Oh. That's a banger, Rob. Just take your time and walk back, walk back, that's it, keep coming back, slowly does it, slowly does it, get that's in that net, get in that net, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, needed that. Oh yes we did, Ness mate, that's that red foam, red aligner, first time I've got on. Happy days. Ben, we've seen a lot of these orange belly things jumping out earlier, cheers mate, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, down over yeah, go on. Well, here we go, fish number four for me, and coming to a 10 foot zig again. But this one was a slight change with red foam and red aligner, all the others have been on black, but still, process soaked in a flat spot. 
deeply soaked in a flat spot. Yeah. It's been like that for months. And yeah, 10 foot zigs doing it again. I mean, it's, this has got to be, if not the best, or it got a pushing second best looking fish I've ever had. Oh, hands down, John's, yeah, it's, probably. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's a, a banger. It's a banger, mate. The ones that I've seen that you have, it's dark on the top. It's nice, mate. What do light you on the bottom. 23.8, 23 8, yeah, I think 23 it was. 8. 24 8, so. hopefully. I've just lost one as well, and I so it's all yeah, sort of happening there. It's but. starting to pick up a bit. <laughs> now, so. once, but we can hopefully make something happen now, and yeah, take advantage of this little feeding spell or Ziggy spell. So here we go. Here's the other side, just as good as the first side, but yeah, can't fault it, can you? An absolute dark banger of St John's. So yeah, I'm buzzing. But get this down, get some photos, because it's starting to get a bit rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> go on, the Nossa pigs. Well, here we go. Like I say, fish number four for me, absolutely buzzing with this one, and also my second biggest of the session. But size don't matter when they look like this to me, so oh, hey, no. I can't fault it. I'm gonna let it go. Banger, mate, well done. Uh, now a big dirty 30 to come, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, wow. Tactical change there. And the rod has been out 30 seconds, if that. Going back, ready to do the next one, do the wraps on it. This is the main spot, this is. And now, no, 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 mate, I'm in front of me, that's definitely not me. Rob's getting beeps now as well. Oh, no, no, definitely, bruv, I'm in front of me, 100%. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm gonna. Take my time with this because I really don't want to lose it. Yeah, bye, <laughs> <laughs> Rob's in, so I'm going to let Steve go over there now and show you what's going on over there. <laughs> and now I'm sure, and a fish has just lumped out. <laughs> well, I thought Ben took my left hand rod out, so I've been quite cautious, but found out it's not, and I've got a fish on, so I'm going to try and concentrate because I have lost three on the um, muscle bed in front of snapping the zig line. I'm going to try and concentrate, get this one in, and hopefully me and Ben can get two nice fish in the bank for you. So it's quite in right, so I am going to try and concentrate on this. Oh. Are we going to be in for a busy night, boy? Are we going to be in for a busy night, boy? <laughs> right, let's get her up. It's a Bosch, there it is. Fish number. <laughs> Fish number, what is it, Rob? I don't even know. Five, four, five? Five, yeah, fourth <laughs> cut, maybe. Honestly, not sure, but it's a late teen, maybe low 20. Um, lovely, lovely one. Literally, like I said, changing about of zigs, as we have been, just not been videoing it, working our little backsides off, put that zig out within 30 seconds, finding the right depth, finding the right colours. It happened. And it's um, it's obvious that they're there. Then they're, they're near the spot. Rob, Rob, <laughs> unfortunately, lost it, mate. Didn't you? You're behind yeah, the camera now. Frustrating. And that muscle um, bed again. Muscle bed. But yeah, another carp. Parker bait social here on St John's. I'm absolutely buzzing. Last night we're off tomorrow morning. And you've just made my evening, mate. And I think we're going to get a takeaway later. So that's not oh, me. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> lovely, jubbly, lovely days. Well, it's a Sunday and that means one thing. I'm in the live chat. The video, this week's video is just about to drop. I'm absolutely buzzing. Just let that fish go. With a view. Food's gonna be ordered soon. 28 seconds. Come on, the Parker Bates. Oh, we're watching the lives. And Rob's just lost one. He's not happy. Oh. Double take. Well, my rods are back out. 
It's not looking good for Rob. He's just lost another one. I shot me the gun alone. So snapped you out of my life. We got a live take. <laughs> take two. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> it started off with the middle rod, didn't it? Yeah, one bleep on the middle, then the left. But that's just done me shot leader. So I don't know whether my lines lying across this muscle bed. You've had it a few times. This mate, session, it's, mate, it's, 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 it's a lot of fish have had me on it. Wrong, but. But I don't know whether my line, because that's just snapped above the oh, shot leader. That's kite and left. But oh, I need to land this one. It's a lot of pressure now. <laughs> but I tell you what, you're is giving it, me... Is, oh, is it an no, oh. also catfish? Oh. It's a box, it's a box. Go away, go away. It's a box. <laughs> <laughs> It's the box. I mean, that's so weird though. Three rods are gone through the bleeps here. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. yeah, but. Oh no, mate. Oh no. Not again. What's happening with them zigs? That's too many now. That's not normal, mate. That's not too many. That. <clears throat> I'll find out now when we want to do that in. Let's see what it is, because that is very frustrating right now. I just have forgot that live as well. I know. No, the zig's still on me, it's just hook pull. It's a hook pull. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. Get her back out, boy. Pizza's on its way. I don't know, got two rods to get out now. So the pizza has turned up and that looks lovely. Tea's over there. Happy mate? Yeah mate, can't grumble this. <laughs> bit, of a, bit, of a, bit of a nightmare getting the food again, was it? Oh mate, yeah, it always is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Rob, oh, happy? Man. I'm very happy. Good. I'm not happy I keep losing fish, but I'm happy I've got pizza. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Right, enjoy. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking a little bit worse for wear this morning. But Rob's managed one. His dad's managed the PB of 34... 34.14. That's on the screen now. Check this out. <laughs> Smashed it, mate. Well done. There he is, Mr. Bolger in the background. Let's show you what he's got. <laughs> well, well in, Rob. It's been hard, mate, this session, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a tough one, mate. And you've unfortunately just lost another one. I don't know whether it's cats or it, they're definitely a muscle bed out there, but I yeah, we got a very sad Rob, but a very happy Rob at the same time. So can't yeah. win. <laughs> Lovely tail on it, mate. Like yeah, a little nice, love mate. heart tail on the back there, nice. and another twenty, I'm sure, maybe just under, but it's close. It's close. Last morning, can't grumble, mate. We're off no. in a few hours, aren't we? Or sort of ten, eleven or yeah, something. Yeah, we got about two hours left, three hours left. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's still a chance for another one. Very nice too. A sigh of relief. It is a big sigh of relief. <laughs> big. <laughs> Couple more hours to go, mate. Can we nick a 40? Can we make it happen? I believe so. I'd like to believe so, but... Whether it happens or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wishful thinking. Good one. Probably lost a couple along the way. <laughs> yeah, we probably have. Well, guys, I'm sat in my bivvy, slowly packing down, and I've got my lovely fluffy jumper on. I think I've mentioned that a few times in this video, but it's absolutely lovely. I know I look, bit, look a bit funny, but I don't really care. It's warm. <laughs> Rob's over in front of me, obviously buzzing for his dad this morning. I've already mentioned that. Um, so yeah, fair play, fair play. A um, few people slowly packing up over the other side of the lake from what I can see. We've had loads of people come over this morning. There's already two people jumping in the peg the second we go. Um, two army lads, so fair play to them. Um, but yeah, that, that is really the update. I'm sat back. 
um, just just to keep you in the loop very quickly if we just go for every person so kicking it off with Ian obviously Ian had uh, the, the catfish didn't he then you had Jordan I think he had about five or six did he five fish brace of 30s five fish brace of 30s and that was right at the beginning so Jordan mate when you're watching this fair play good angling up from that you had Aaron Wow, you've seen him in this video, mate. He's an animal. Turn it up. 48 hours less than everyone else, and then caught more fish than everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play to him, mate. You know, yeah. credit where credit is due. Obviously, new to new to carp angling and also new to the Ninia complex. Never fished St. John's before. So, first time on St. John's to do that, mate. Fair play. Up from that, you had Jay. Jay, again, first time on here, mate, wasn't it? Very, very well. Again, you've seen some of the fish in this video, alongside a few catfish, a few carp. Great angling. Um, he is one of these next Tom makers for sure. He's very, very good. He's, he's young, and he, and, he, and he loves it. He really he's really has got a passion for carp fishing. Just up from that, you had Andy. Now, Andy he, he went off yesterday for him, Rob, didn't it? It went absolutely crazy for about... Five pounds. 35 pounder he had. Um, he had the... He had a few other backup fish, didn't he? I think they were 20s. But for yesterday afternoon, it just went crazy for him. The fish obviously moved over his spot and he was catching them left, right and centre on zigs again. Moving on to T. So T's obviously to the left of us. Um, Mr Pussycat, I think we should probably call him now. Rob's laughing his head off behind the camera. T's probably going to punch me when he sees this video. Um, but yeah, he wasn't a massive fan. He's not a massive fan of catfish anyway. But we've all discussed now. We were both tired that night. He unhooked it, let it go. That catfish, I reckon, may have been over £100, to be honest with you. It, it, was, it, 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 was, it was ginormous. It was absolutely ginormous. The head was that freaking wide on the thing. I've never seen anything like it. Double mine and more. Oh, yeah, it was double um, Rob's and more, and he had a 41, so there you go. It was a big, big cat. Apologies, we didn't, but um, I understand it. It's taken out all the T's rods, it's taken out all of my rods. We Obviously, we managed to save all the stuff because the catfish pulled it all in, so we had to cut all the lines, but I lost about 20 wraps. Again, recovered, got all the line back. Nothing was out in the drink, but just very frustrating at four in the morning with that. I put my two rods up against the bivvy, and I think T done the same, so... <laughs> Um, touching on myself, well I don't need to touch on myself because you've seen it throughout this video and obviously Rob a little bit gut in there um, but we've obviously done everything within our power he's obviously brung up his zig strength to 15 pounds so he's maxed that out really with what we oh, I don't, I've don't. i never, never really fished anything stronger than that um, in regards to the zig line and then you start getting twirls and twizzles in the line because it's too thick the line personally um, but I don't know what it is, I don't know why he's losing them um, well, we, well, we sort of do. It's a muscle bed. It's got a muscle bed out there, but it's just very weird that it's sort of cutting the zig halfway down. It's playing the fish for a duration of maybe five, six minutes, and then all of a sudden it just tinks off. So, yeah, it's, it's weird. I've had that a couple of times, but then I've had a couple right near the link. Now, what I think that is, is, is a catfish is getting it again, and it's just cutting the line. Um, you know, what, what do you do? What, what do you do when you're in that scenario? You're dumping the ledge, you're doing everything you can, you're putting thicker line on. You, it's not really much more you can do, Rob, is there? It's, um, it is one of them. And then obviously, like I said, um, finish it off with Rob Dad with a new PB this morning. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. We've got a couple of hours left now couple of our oh Garrett yes Garrett see now I've oh, I forgot Garrett because obviously the only reason why I say that is because he, he, he actually left a day early because he needed to go home for for various reasons but Garrett as well he was working that swim to death when he although he didn't have much water in front of him he was working and working and working the swim and managed to nick a 28 pounder 28 pounder off the top of my head lovely scaly one um, and then basically got what he needed to do done and then left early. So fair play to Karen, fair play to you, mate. It was good seeing you. Also much appreciated on the food. The food, I always eat like a king when I'm out with Garrett on the bank, I'm not going to lie. Um, I make the joke, I say Trev's Gordon Ramsay's cousin. It literally is like going out with a chef um, with Garrett. Um, Rob says the same. He's had a bit of a taste in his mouth when he'd done the British Champs with him the other week. That was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So there it is guys, so I'm going to leave it at that, a little bit of an update of what's happened over the duration of the last few days. Um, hopefully I've brought you a good video. I'm not going to end it there though, because we're nearly, nearly um, at the end, but we've got a couple of hours or maybe an hour and a half left of fishing. I've just had a single beep. Could the box come and come in the last hour? <laughs> Oh, mate. Hopefully we can get this bad boy in, mate. Oh, shit, he's heading. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, Rob ain't going to want any video of that, so I'll just get a little bit now. <laughs> well done, Rob. Going straight back. <laughs> straight back home. Oh. Right, so there it is. Different change of scenery. I'm actually on B2 at the moment, because Lewis is over here, one of the Parker Bates ambassadors. Just kindly let T get a quick rod out. So, how many fish, mate, sorry? This is fish number 41. 41. I've lost a few as well, so I probably would have gone close to 50, but... Mate, fair play. Balls fair play, mate. Fish are obviously down here, you're having it off, and I'm sure it's very good fun. Next milestone, fish 50. <laughs> <laughs> you want a boy? You're going to catch one then, mate? Probably not, mate, this way, am I? <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't catch a cold, mate, can I? I can't catch a cold. <laughs> you watch him catch a 40 pounder now. on the money T looks funny he did say the right hand one and it didn't take long <laughs> he's a hand on is it he's had too many fish <laughs> nah, fair play cool that's kiting isn't it oh God. come off no that's what happens look that's got days Got it. Fair play though, fish, run. I'm sure he's going to have many more. But I am back at Parker Baits HQ and I'm going to go over our hook baits today. We're actually going to be making wafters. I'm going to go in depth the processes, the reason why we do, ingredients, um, steaming process, our dusting process. Really go into depth about how we make our hook baits at Parker Baits HQ. Right, well there it is. Myself and Rob, there he is. We're walking back to the car now. It's been a great trip. It was nice to pop down and see Lou. Um, and like I said, unfortunately, he just lost that, but I'm sure T will nick one with him before he leaves. I love that about T. You don't like being be being beaten, but up here you've got the flexibility to obviously jump on another lake. Um, if there's flexibility to do that, then it's definitely worth doing. So there it is. That's this. That's this. This week's. That's this week's video, guys. I hope you liked it at the Parker Bay Social on St John's. It's been fun. It's been eventful for sure, Rob, eh? I'm dead. I'm tired. I've been worn out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. Go back. See the missus this afternoon. She hasn't seen me for weeks. <laughs> but there it is. That's fishing. Like I said, I'm fortunate we've lost a few, but we've also had a few nice ones as well. So, if you haven't seen these videos or you want to watch more guys head over to the Parker Parker Brothers YouTube channel there's plenty more on there grab yourself some popcorn sit down you've got hours and hours and hours of footage the realest YouTube channel on YouTube when it comes to fishing we ain't getting any perks we're turning up like everyone else and doing what we can do to get fish on the bank so like I said guys there it is that's this week's video give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.